So today you will see information regarding the use of combustible building materials in wall assembly that increase the risk of fire in the built environment. The relationship between the weather barrier and NFP 285 compliance is often misunderstood, hence us assembling this. The course will cover the basics of the NFPA 285 test standard and building code sections relevant to weather resistive barriers. It will also address the basics of test wall design, including cladding, insulation, etc. how wall systems that include weather resistive barriers are analyzed for engineering evaluations and compliance strategies. As required by the AIA, we have some learning objectives. At the end of this course, participants will understand the basics of the NFA, NFPA 285, the basics of the building code as it, as it uh, uh, applies to what, uh, weather resistive barriers, the basic tenets of wall design, test wall design, including claddings, insulations, and other, other components. You'll also understand how WRBs are analyzed for engineering evaluations and how those are used.